Well, I got this old uh, hydromatic out here. Uh, it came out of my brother's 1960 Oldsmobile, and uh, I'm going to go have, I'm gonna have to go ahead and fix it because I've got a pretty good leak up front here. Um, but I haven't decided whether I want to just try to fix that leak or if I want to tear the whole thing completely apart and redo it all. Uh, I haven't decided yet, but I'll do that sometime this summer, I think. Um, but if I do tear it all the way apart, I'd like to explain, try to explain how this transmission works and what makes it a little bit different than uh, a modern transmission. So to, in order to do that, I think I'm going to have to uh, try to explain some of the more common parts of a transmission and how they work, you know, what they do and how they do it. So I'm going to start off with torque converter. Uh, I don't actually have a torque converter laying around, I don't think. I'll go look, but uh, I don't think I have one. And if I do have one, I don't want to cut it up and show you what's going on inside. So what I'm going to do is take apart this, which is actually a fluid coupling, which I have to take apart anyway. It's a little bit different, but it'll basically show you, uh, you know, what is inside a torque converter. It's a little bit different, but you'll get the basic idea. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grab. Uh, grab a socket here and take all these off and pull this cover off and show you what's inside. Yeah, I looked around and I couldn't find a, a torque, convert, torque converter laying around but that's alright I've got the uh, cover off this fluid coupling here and uh, it's not exactly the best thing. I get a little gunk around here but I guess what concerns me is the uh, is the silver and the little tiny metal, metal particles you see in there not really thrilled to see that, but uh, I guess it is an old transmission. But I think after seeing that, I may have to uh, I may have to dig quite a bit deeper than uh, I was thinking. So I may just have to take the whole thing apart and check everything out. I was contemplating just replacing the seals, but I don't think that's going to happen. But anyway, as you can see here, we've got the. Uh, the fluid coupling. You can see one one part of it here, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, see if I can't pull this apart and actually slide this part off, so you can see the inside of it and uh, see what they look like. All right. Well, I've got this uh, fluid coupling here apart, and I can kind of start to begin to explain sort of how it works. Um, a fluid coupling is a lot like two fans. You got one fan on, and it blows air against the other fan and the other fan begins to spin. Uh, these fluid couplings work in a in a similar way and what's happening in here is you have two parts. You'll have this part which happens to be the impeller which is driven by the engine and spins and you will have the turbine which in this case looks pretty much the same as the other one but this is the one where uh, the through it is flown, uh, thrown against and power is directed to this. <coughs> so what happens in here as this thing spins the fluid starts to go with it and turn in this and rotate in this general direction and fluid also at the same time enters in through these bottom holes here and it's kind of cupped around and thrown out by centrifugal force and it's shot out these, this top part here and it's thrown against the turbine which is the driven part of it and starts this to turn and then the fluid comes back out through here and keeps cycling through like that until you get uh, both of these going at the same speed and this thing right here in the middle is a split ring and what it, what it does it, it kinda helps to get the fluid moving in the right way. If this wasn't here, you'd have a lot of turbulence in the middle here and it wouldn't be as efficient. Alright, that was a basic uh, overview of how a fluid coupling works and a torque converter is a little bit different. Uh, a torque converter can actually multiply the torque um, whereas a fluid coupling can't. It can just transfer torque and they're built a little bit differently. Um, one of the different designs is see how these blades are kind of pretty much straight up and down. In a torque converter they'll have a little bit of a kind of a bend twist to them 
and that will actually improve uh, how the oil flows through them and how it hits the, the, uh, the turbine um, from the impeller. And another thing they have is what's called a stator and it sits in the middle here between the uh, turbine or excuse me the impeller and the turbine and it actually redirects the flow of oil that's coming from the turbine or yeah, from the turbine back into the impeller because if they didn't have that the fluid would actually be hitting the uh, impeller backwards and would actually try to slow it down and work against it so the stator sits in the middle and it redirects the flow and it's uh, on a one-way clutch so when the uh, impeller is driven fast and the turbine isn't moving or is not moving as fast the stator will sit still and uh, redirect the flow like it's supposed to now it's on a one-way clutch because it needs to be held at low speed but when they're going the same uh, same speed uh, it needs to let go and actually freewheel because if it didn't do that it would again impede the flow of oil so when it's when the impeller is going a little bit faster or a lot faster than the turbine you actually get a torque multiplication and as they spin closer to the same speed as they kind of wind up if you will the stator will actually start to spin and rotate with it and you won't get any torque multiplication but you will get the impeller and the turbine rotating at about the same speed so that's pretty much all it is um, it's complex and simple at the same time but that's basically all I had for fluid couplings and uh, torque converters I think in the future I'm going to do one on planetary gear sets because that's pretty much uh, the most important part of a automatic transmission I mean that's how they get their gear changes so I'm going to do a video on that I don't know when because it's sort of cold out here but that's your basic uh, fluid coupling and torque converter design.